Software and medical devices drives unprecedented levels of complexity and risk for the companies that make these devices. A state-of-the-art pacemaker might have 80,000 lines of code. Modern infusion pumps have close to 200,000 lines. Larger systems like surgical robotics, diagnostic machines, and therapeutic systems can have even larger amounts of code. The amount and complexity of medical device software is reflected in recent studies pointing to increasing failure rates of medical devices due to software errors. Manual methods and disconnected systems just can't manage all of the trace relationships among requirements, test cases, failure modes, and other activities and assets. With medical devices, it's not just about time to market and regulatory compliance. These products directly or indirectly affect public health, so software quality is critical. MKS Integrity is the only platform that gives you the power to author, manage, and report on all of the assets and activities you need across the entire software development lifecycle for medical devices. Let's take a look at the solution in action. MKS Integrity supports the concepts of failure mode and effect analysis, or FMEA, as part of our default configuration for medical device implementations. Let's add a new failure mode to this document. We capture cause and effect for the failure mode and assign the severity, occurrence, and detection factors for both the initial and post-mitigation failure modes. Initial and residual risk priority numbers, or RPNs, are automatically calculated. This kind of automation is found throughout the platform, which allows your team to focus on value-add activities instead of administration. Now let's edit a requirements document. Note that we are still in the same system, we're just interacting with the system from a different viewpoint. For this particular requirement, we can see that there are both upstream and downstream traces. We can also see the pass-fail percentages of the test cases that have been executed against each requirement. We can drill down into the downstream traces for this requirement, and here we have a specification and two tests, a system test and a verification test. These traces are created through the MKS integrity concept of defined named relationships. Here we can examine these traces based on the nature of their relationship to the originating requirement. The specification satisfies the requirement and relevant test cases are also related. These flexible named relationships between and among assets in MKS Integrity have a default configuration for traceability within our medical devices solution template, but they are completely configurable to meet your unique needs. They're also enforceable, which means that you can define rules around how the trace relationships are defined and recorded. MKS Integrity provides a massive advantage for medical device companies with the ability to rapidly generate traceability reports across any asset in the system. What could take person weeks of effort with manual processes and point tools takes just a few mouse clicks in MKS Integrity. For internal reporting as well as addressing the demands of regulators like the FDA, this capability translates into significant time savings and reduced risk. You can track meaningful metrics for each document you can also see flags on any suspect relationships where changes occurred to a related asset. You can also see relevant metrics on trace relationships from this document to other documents. The result is much greater control over what's going on with these documents with far less effort needed to achieve that control. The creation of all these relationships is seamless and easy for the users of the system. Here we're looking at the system from the standpoint of someone in the quality organization. We can author test cases and then tie those test cases to the appropriate requirement. Drag and drop functionality makes it simple to establish the trace relationships among the assets in the system. Note that the trace count of the requirement automatically increments and the requirement is flagged with a downstream trace when we establish the linkage from the new test case. Likewise, the test case now has an upstream trace. The test engineer can execute test cases within a test session. If defects are found as a result of testing, the test engineer can create them and they are automatically associated with the appropriate test case. For a project manager or other leaders in the organization, all of the day-to-day -day work of individuals rolls up into a comprehensive view of the documents and activities for the entire project. You can drill down into individual documents to examine their content and look at how that content decomposes. Here we have a failure mode that is mitigated by a requirement that requirement is satisfied by a specification and is also validated by two test cases. We can also see that the specification itself has been validated by a test case. We also can see the last run result of the test cases and review the impact of requirements change, in this case causing a suspect trace relationship 
to the associated specification. With all of these assets in one coherent platform, including all of the trace relationships, you can also report on traceability at the project level. This radically simplifies and streamlines the effort needed to respond to FDA requests. A traceability matrix, also known as a design history file, can be generated in mouse clicks instead of person weeks. It's this easy. The project manager selects the appropriate report at the appropriate level of the project, and MPS Integrity generates a report that can be shared with the FDA or other stakeholders in the project. These reports are configurable and can be tailored to your organization's exact needs. MKS delivers one solution that addresses the end-to-end -end application lifecycle, from initial requirements to final tests, within a single repository and sustainable trace relationships between and among all of the assets and activities in that lifecycle. So what does this solution mean for you as a company that is making medical devices with embedded software? You save time and effort, leading to lower compliance overhead and more rapid cycle times. You improve control over software development with real-time monitoring of progress and change. And you ensure quality software with process enforcement and clear visibility into the impact of change. MKS has helped leading medical device organizations around the world solve these and other challenges. To learn more, visit our website or contact MKS at the number that follows.